the two biggest films about pregnancy are the one where Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant. <laughs> That's a man. And Juno. But there's no time to get into that. <laughs> My cat's dying. Zeiss fucked. He's got a tumor in his leg. And recently my grandma had a mild heart attack. I just really hope she dies first. So I can learn about death. Be emotionally ready for the death of my cat. Yeah, people used to lie that joke, and then a plague killed all their grandmas. So after my cat died, I went to Egypt to study necromancy. And began raising the dead from their tombs and getting them to build more tombs, kill people to fill them with, who I'd then raise. Eventually was accused of being a pyramid scheme. <laughs> My mum said to me once, I hate all men apart from your father. Okay, mum, I'm right here. And why? And she said, well, whenever you're having a conversation with a man, they always just say the opposite of whatever you're saying. And I said, well, actually. <laughs> the word conversation comes from the same root word as conversely. It does literally mean to just say the opposite of whatever anyone else says. She didn't really enjoy that. But neither did you. <laughs> I feel like women gaslight more than men, but they've convinced us we're doing it. <laughs> Gaslighting's a really sophisticated psychological technique where you get the other person to believe you have a better memory of events than they do. Does that sound like something a man's remotely capable of? The term comes from the 1944 film Gaslight. You've seen that film, right? Yeah, see how easy that was to do. <laughs> Nobody's seen that film. In the film, the person doing the gaslighting is a man. But that's just because men get all the good roles in films. Even if it definitely should be a woman. Like the, the two biggest films about pregnancy are the one where Arnold Schwarzenegger gets pregnant. That's a man. And Juno. But there's no time to get into that. There is a lot of transphobic comedy about. I, I'm actually worse than a transphobe because I don't think women should be allowed in toilets. <laughs> they don't piss or shit. I've never seen it happen. I refuse to. What are they doing in there anyway? Are they... <laughs> I, I'm actually making a film. It's called The Manchurian Graduate. It's a supercut of The Manchurian Candidate and The Graduate. Have we all seen either or ideally both? Uh, no, all right. <laughs> it's a Cold War MILF rom-com. Hey, I'll just be. It's about a guy who gets brainwashed, and then when he's activated by a special code phrase, he has sex with older women. And the special code phrase is, I like your comedy. <laughs> depressingly effective tactic. <laughs> they figured out. I think either older women are getting more attractive or I've started drinking on the street earlier in the day. <laughs> Trying to narrow it down. My favorite drink is anything that's got the suicide hotline printed on the label. <laughs> it's the seal of quality. You know that silhouette of the pregnant lady that they have on labels? Yeah, the pregnant lady drinking with a line through her. Why is she so hot? It's a really weird creative decision. She's like eight months pregnant, body of a cheerleader. What is her secret? Cider. <laughs> that kid's gonna look amazing. <laughs> Even with fetal alcohol syndrome, uh, that kid's going to be fine. 
Some people, when they die, they want to get buried in a forest so their nutrients can be reabsorbed. I want to get buried at sea so all the microplastics I've eaten over the course of my life can return to the ocean. <laughs> Saw a bunch of flowers on top of a post box. That's a tough way to die. <laughs>